What's going on guys, it's CJ Vision Hardscapes. We are back at our fire rock job. And the sono tubes were getting completed yesterday. They are still not done. Looks like they got a little bit of work. There's gonna be like a big awning that's being built over here. So we're working with some builders. But it does look like all the other utilities are wrapped up. Uh, brand new white vinyl fence. Looks absolutely amazing. So this project's gonna start really coming together. Um, in the next few days we are getting rain so today um, I'm not really too sure what we can do because these guys are not done over there yet so that kind of stops us from bringing in base with our skid steer but at least the electrical is done the gas lines done this is where the fire rocks gonna go so there's a bunch of different electrical in there because there's like um, an electrical igniter there is also um, a, a safety shutoff and a timer as well, so that it just doesn't keep going because this is um, this house is going to be used as an Airbnb, so that's why we're building this patio. All right, so we're going to start off this morning by cleaning up what the fence guys left. So they left all of their dig out piles. So I'm going to start running that all up to the front. We do have to extend these electrical pipes back a little further so they're actually in the landscape beds uh, so this one needs to get trenched and that one needs to get trenched out a little more so uh, we'll have to hand dig those in a little bit but we're gonna start getting all the rest of this dirt out we have sand up front for the trenches so we can start backfilling those as soon as we know that everything's 100% all right so we just trenched out this line this uh, this is for a box, electrical box, that has to get moved back further into the bed. And then we are doing the same thing on this side. So we have to trench this out a little more. And this uh, electrical box is moving inside the bed. And then we should have to tie up a few more loose ends. Um, we are doing lights on the boulder wall, but the lights that we had were these really unique LED strips that required a 220 line. And our electrician said that was kind of weird so we're looking for a couple different led light options for the boulder wall but we're gonna start wrapping this up soon hopefully and back filling so this is the water line the sprinkler company is actually going to come up and put a 90 up and then another 90 bring it over there so that they can access that and then that's going to bring water everywhere they need it to be so we'll finish trenching out that line and hopefully we have some answers soon What's going on guys, it's CJ of Vision Hardscapes and we are back at our fire rock project this morning. I'm gonna do a quick update on what's been going on. So I didn't bring the camera the other day cause it was pouring rain and then yesterday I forgot the camera, but we got 
all the base stone in for our back wall. So this back wall, what we're gonna be using is Unilock Yukara starter block. That's gonna go straight down for the first layer and then we're gonna be building a cinder block wall and then we're gonna be facing it with a band of stone and then there's gonna be the arborvitae bed in front of that and then the boulder wall in front of that. So this wall is gonna be pretty tall, about 47 inches. Um, with a cap, a ledge stone cap with lights underneath the cap. So it's gonna look really awesome. Uh, we did have another issue over here the other day. So we drilled for the sino tubes, but we didn't, we, um, we had the builder double check the measurements and the builder did not double check. And he told us the pins were right and they actually weren't right, so they were off. So we spent the better part of yesterday morning digging out a four foot, a deep 24 inch wide sino tube that has to be moved essentially eight inches forward now because it was not where it needed to be um, when he said it was where it needed was to be so that was a little bit of an issue a little hold up but today there's gonna be a lot of progress done because all the utilities are wrapped up they're all inspected everything's ready to go so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be fabricating out this and we're really gonna start getting all the base in for this so I'm going to be setting the time lapse up. I got to screed out these rails back here and I'm going to start building this wall. I do have a helper today, so that's going to speed things up a little bit. So let's get right to it. So we're getting all this base in right now, which is really nice. We still have quite a bit of ways to go. Um, our dump truck driver has quite the turnaround time right now. It's about 30 minutes to get to the place, get loaded, and then come back, turn around, and get to here. So it's about an hour and 15 turnaround, sometimes a little longer, depending on how long she waits at the quarry. So I'm getting the rest of this screeded out. We're going to use the Unilock Yukara starter block, like I said, all the way down. 
and build this wall. Hopefully we can get a decent amount of this wall done today. I do have to do the sides as well so that we can tie the wall in for when you build. And hopefully this works out so that we stay on bond. And then Tyler and our new helper, Joe, are getting the basin over here. So the, the line, the string line, not sure if you can see it that well. We have to go two inches below that. We're using a seven eighth inch paver and we have a one inch of screed. So a little bit of ways to go still. We still are coming out about right to here. Another strip of road fabric. All of that still has to be road fabric and based. So a lot of stone is coming in. It's just not coming in fast enough right now. here in Buffalo today. It is very hot. Next week it's supposed to be in the 90s already, which is awesome. So I set up the string line. So I'm working off of it. Screwed everything out. I will go back through and throw the six foot level on, but I'm about 99% sure that they're all 100%. I can pretty much tell when you set them down if they are level or not to each other. You'll see big dips and stuff like that. So we're going to keep working our way down the wall. These guys I've been working on stop getting all the stone in, just let it go up a little bit, go out a little more over here as well. All right, so we had a pretty awesome day today. We got about 40 tons of base stone in. We are pretty close to where we have to get to. I've been working all day on this back wall, as you guys have seen. So it is taking me a little bit. I'm making sure that everything is 1000% perfect for this. So there's no dips on this wall. This wall is gonna be pretty tall, about 47 inches when we're done. I am going to be gluing instead of mortaring um, this is some really great stuff. It's what we use on all of our, I don't know, any, anything that we built, retaining walls, steps, all the coping. It's always that Alliance XP stuff. We have great success with it. And it literally, it, it like welds the blocks that to the point where the block breaks before the glue actually breaks. So I'm a huge advocate for that. So I got about two cases of that for tomorrow. So we're going to just be gluing down to the starter block and then we're just going to be building this wall like i said there's wing walls that i have to still base out 
I've been taking my time though because this has to be perfect as, as, as everything on this job site. So we're making our way. We have to backfill this trench as well, put a little stone in there and then put more fabric over, keep basing. We also have to redo the sino tube, like I said, from uh, yesterday's clips or maybe this morning I said it. But yeah, so if you guys want to see this project, keep coming to life. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment any questions you have. Thank you.